in some kind of trouble. Mr. Manning, yeah, yes, your daughter's in serious trouble, but it's not Star, it's your other daughter. How is she? She's asleep. But I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. Oh, Bo! Thank goodness you're here. Please come in. Hello, Nora. Shall we um, go into the living room? No, that's fine, Dorian. I'm comfortable here. So you wanted to see me? It's critical. The Landview Police Department needs you. All of Landview needs you. I need you. I want to reinstate you as Commissioner of Police. You do understand I'm offering you your old job back. No, I, I did hear you, Dorian. I figured that's why you summoned me. If I indeed did summon you, I'm sorry, I really don't understand what the former Mrs. Clint Buchanan is doing here. Nora, shouldn't you be at work? Well, actually, I am, Dorian. As district attorney, I'm here to inform you that my office has drawn up a list of charges against you. We didn't we? Will you marry me? Kevin, what is all this? Um, you want me to get down on one knee? I'm proposing. Marry me, Kelly. Since you left the other pair with Stacy. <gasps> oh my god, they're amazing. But, I... but you want a different color? No, 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 I love them. It's just, I need you to do something else for me. Will you marry me? They're nice boots, but they're not that nice. I'm serious. Marry me, Mr. B. Natalie, honey, is that you? Would you come in here for a moment, please? Why'd you call him? He's your father. Not so you'd notice. Oh, um... Principal Long, so nice to finally make your acquaintance. How do you do? So, we're, we're all here. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Cronenberg's desk was broken into. Oh, uh, Mr. Cronenberg, isn't that your, your math teacher? Exactly. And the answers to tomorrow's exam are missing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm failing to see what this has to do with my daughter. Danielle was seen leaving the empty classroom moments before the break-in was discovered. The break-in? All the teachers locked their desks. Mr. Cronenberg's lock was picked, the drawers ransacked, uh, the answers missing. I asked Danielle to return the exam answers. She refused. Well, has it occurred to you that she doesn't have the answers? Then why not allow me to search her bag? Because it's private, and I didn't steal the stupid answers. <sighs> Ms. Delgado, Mr. Manning, I'd like your permission to search Danielle's bag. Do you have a search warrant? A search warrant? No. Oh. Well, then I'm afraid you won't be searching her back. Look, if this is about what happened up in the mountain, I thought we covered that. I don't know what else there is to say. I was, I was sick and, and, and delirious. I thought that John was Jerry. The first time. I'm sorry? The first time you kissed John, you thought he was Jerry. John told me everything. There was a second kiss, and the second one had nothing to do with Jared. I'm sorry, I just need to pick up a few things. I thought you'd be at the hospital with Jessica. I was. I came home to spend some time with Bree. And how's she doing, Bree? She misses her mother. Of course she does. And Jessica, I heard the surgery went well. Yes, it did. Physically, she's going to be just fine. The doctors have said she can come home soon. Thank God. And the other, the, um, the electroshock. I mean, Brody filled me in. I don't know if she will ever recover. I don't know if any of us will. Where is this coming from? Because the ink is barely dry in my divorce papers, and, well, you and I, we haven't even... And it'll be great. You know it. I know it. Well, so what's the hurry? For you and me? Yeah. There is no hurry. We're friends. We enjoy each other's company. I like to think I help you out with your business from time to time. You do? So why ruin it? Because I need your help. 
Look, I promised Stacy that I would take care of her baby, that I would make sure that she had everything she needs, and I can't do that unless you marry me. Before you tell me all the reasons why we shouldn't try this again, I know, okay, I, I know it was my fault. Our marriage failed because of my ego, because I put all my energy into my stupid political career instead of you, and I betrayed you, my indiscretions with Blair. Kev, Kev, just... Kev. I had my own indiscretion. That's why we got divorced. Yeah, but, but I was wrong. See, I, I should have never let you go. And I think that's why I stayed so close. And, and, and I mean, look, we've, we've made a life together for years now. Because of Z. But we divorced for very good reasons. And now you, you want me back? Have you, have you, have you forgiven me fully? I'm afraid I'm not making myself clear. Your daughter is being is accused of theft. And in the interest of making myself perfectly clear, I'm an attorney. And you're refusing to allow me to search your bag? Without a search warrant, which you told me you don't have. Therefore, you will not be searching her bag. Well, then you've left me little choice. I'm going to have to suspend, Danielle. You can't do that. I have no choice, young lady. Landview has an honor code. If you refuse to abide by it, you cannot attend classes. She's missed so much school already. Perhaps this is not the place for her. But I like it here. You know what? If you want to search a bag, you have my permission. Go ahead. Todd. Well, no, I trust her, don't you? She didn't steal some silly answers. I mean, yes. this is my daughter, and she's a good and smart child. <clears throat> and uh, I know she didn't do this. Why can't you keep your promise to Stacy without the two of us getting married? Stacy's all I had. Girls like us, we don't have families. Or if we do, they don't want any part of us. Oh, yeah, it was each other. That's why when she died, I couldn't face it. It's the reason I couldn't come to the hospital. If you hadn't brought me here, I never would. Look at her. She's all I have left of Stacy. What if something happens to her? What if she doesn't make it? No, no, no. She will make it. And then what? She goes home with Gigi? But she's a waitress. What, what does she make a buck fifty a night? She's lucky if she clears 30k a year and she's gonna raise two kids. Plus, Stacy hated her. Does this baby have a father? Skylar Joplin? He's a recovering addict, if there is such a thing. He's a lost cause. He was fired from a high school for hitting on a student, and now it looks like it's his fault Sierra's even in the hospital. No, there's no way she's going home with either one of them. Plus, I'm the one Stacy wanted. She asked me point blank if anything ever happened to her, would I take care of Sierra? I can't let her down, Clint. I, I understand your feeling for your friend, but I don't see how any of this involves me. Vicky. Did Brody tell you all of it? But that she lost her memory. Um, yeah. What? She doesn't remember anything past high school. Nothing. Nothing. She thinks she's 17 years old. She remembers me and Clint and her brothers. And that's just because she knew you before? Yes. Every single thing that has happened to her since then is gone. She didn't even remember that Asa, her grandfather that she adored, was dead. Clint had to tell her. She doesn't know who Natalie is. She doesn't know who Bree is. She doesn't know Brody. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, what that guy did... She lost half of her life. Well, her adult life, certainly, yes. It is a huge loss. And it is so unfair after everything that child has been through and suffered. Well, how about you? I mean, how are you doing? That bad, huh? Well, I'm here. I mean, you haven't lost me. And I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>